All right, guys, Ludwig here again. Uh, I just got the cardboard short shifters. Shifter. So right there. Pretty cool. Uh, nothing remarkable about it. It's pretty short. Uh, oh, also, this is my shifter knob. It's from Rezo. It costs like 30 bucks on Amazon. I highly recommend it. It was cheap. Um, Install is easy. Costs like 30 bucks. It looks, it feels really nice. And the color is like this dark, almost gunmetal. And it goes really, really well with the interior. With uh, the other black loss. Like all this around here is like this dark, super dark gray metallic. All through here. Uh, on the steering wheel has like that dark metal gray. It seems black, but it's more like a really dark charcoal. And this actually goes pretty well with that. So it's like 30 bucks on Amazon. Uh, it's prime eligible. It's pretty good. I'm very satisfied with it. But it's time to swap out the, the shifter kit. All right, so this is center console. Uh, if you look in here, there's two bolts or two screws. And undo those screws. That pops out, and then you kind of pull out the. Put this in gear first. If I roll away, pop the clutch down, or not the clutch, the e-brake down, and see the the e-brake. You're gonna pull that away, right there. This is supposed to just pop out pretty easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so next step, you needed to disconnect the e-brake, um, the e-brake wrapping, the leather wrapping from the center console, and you see that gap there. It was pretty tight. Um, I had to use this really small Phillips head and just kind of like jiggle it in between, being careful not to scratch this because, you know, I just got it. I want to protect it. So just jingle it in between there and just slowly kind of pry it, and it'll just simply pop out. Um... If you're kind of like me and you kind of like to like think how is this connected so I don't break it. This is actually, this piece right here is clicked under this piece here. So I think you just kind of push, push down and pull kind of with this. I don't know how to explain that, but kind of push down and pull, but not directly on it. All right. So that's what the center console popped up. It's, it really just like pops out. Um, if you feel like you're trying too hard then you're probably doing something wrong and you'll break something so don't do that so yeah so after i disconnected this guy under here there's a screw in there and in that screw you just undo the screw pop it out and then the center console comes out then um it's not just the first two screws but also this one so then it pops out and then this guy should just pop out as well um, from what i understand but this top piece is really what you need so yep it's coming out pretty easy Um, you want to be careful because this is your car. Gentle, steady, firm pull. Take this stuff out. I like having lots of little tools around because you never know when you'll need it. Experience has told me have tools around. Because you'll have a MacGyver moment regularly <laughs> or maybe it's just me I'll pull this up to get it out the way that's it hmm. this the leather thing is actually snapped onto the bottom so you can actually just pop that out from the bottom, which is pretty easy. I figured as much. Just pop that pop that out from the bottom. Get the front side here. Popped out pretty easy. So this is loose now. Let this camera focus. It's been a little wild. Yep, just let that come out. So simple. Alright, so I just popped off the shift knob. That made it easier to clear it. 
uh, took out the shift boot, which took out the shift boot, removed it first and then popped it off. Uh, then you're going to remove these two, these two little guys here, little screws. Get up close, you can see it. The focus is these two plastic screws. You're going to take those out. So I'm going to screw those out. So I removed the top rubber shifter boot. After removing those two white screws, just pull that off. Just being careful. And this is the, the shift, shift stick, man. This is it right here. Uh, this is it. I'm trying to pull up closer so I can mess with it. So this is it right here. So uh, the next step is to unscrew these guys over here. Loosen that up and then this guy should just pop right out. Um, but then in here you can see the grease which we're going to transfer to the other shifter. And there is two, I don't know if I can get a good, good angle on this. But those two pieces right there at the bottom, you just have to pinch those to pull it out. So I'm just going to do all that now. Alright, so do this actual unscrewing. I always like it when people tell me exactly what I need, but you'll need a 12 millimeter socket for this guy. Pops right on there. Pretty simple. I'm just gonna do that now. Right, so this is the, the stock OEM shifter. It is right there, it's pretty heavy, pretty fat compared to the newer one. It's pretty thin. Look at it side by side. It's a lot shorter, so, so if you compare it hinge to hinge, a lot shorter. Look at that. Like where the threading, threading is, where it starts for this one and where it starts here. Basically starts after where the stock one ends. So it's going to be a really nice short throw. Um, I'm pretty excited. So I'm going to transfer over this guy, this piece here, and all the oil. Make sure it stays lubricated. Cool. Alright, so the short shifter is done now. Like... And I don't know if you could tell by just the video, but this thing is ridiculously short now. Like, so, so short. It's like, un like, see if you could, this is, that's first to second. That's third, fourth, fifth. Like, that is really, really short travel. Like, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Ridiculous ridiculously short like this had so much more play before like just in neutral left to right there's so much more play it's just really really sh short and i actually feel a lot more communicated through the shifter itself like it feels more clunky which i like because you know you hear and you feel that it's in gear where before the shift knob, it felt really numb. The leather wrap shift knob that comes with it feels super numb. Uh, when I f changed to this like hard metal uh, spherical shift knob, it felt better. Or oh, just with the shift knob, like I felt more when I was shifting from gear to gear. And then now with the short, like the short throws, it's super short and really crisp. But like it's nice and clunky, like you feel or the classic it's it's like a rifle bolt like you feel it like it clinks clunks in there and it's really really short like i really like it i'm gonna go take it for a test drive pretty soon um but i'm, I'm really happy with this result i am not a great uh <laughs> i don't work on cars a lot like this is um since my first civic my first 1995 civic this is the first i've worked on my car so much and this was super easy it took me like maybe I'd say 30 minutes tops. Um, and it was really quick and easy. I just watched a couple videos online uh, and I decided to put one together myself. Um, one thing I want to note uh, that I didn't see explained in other videos is that, um, hold on, I got to grab the old, the old shift knob. So um, in the original OEM one, there's that, there's a solid lighter silver cylinder in the middle that pops right out like right in here but then there's an outer casing and it looks like it's actually part of the 
the metal shifter. To me, it did. But it's not. It's like another rubber mounting, and it's like gray, like this guy. And it's not solid all the way through. It's just two end caps, one on this side and one on this side. When you're doing it, it'll make sense to you, and it, it'll prevent you from, like, really tearing up uh this outer, like, hard plastic shell like I did. Um, It'll save you some grief. But, yeah, so if you take, like, a set of pliers like I did, Shoddy, you take this set of pliers and you just stick it in there and you ply it out, it'll pop out. Me, I was like trying to bend the edges and do all this crap. Like if you just stick it in straight in there and then just pry it out and it'll just, just pop out. It'll take some jiggling, maybe some working around, but it'll just come out. Um, and that's it. And then you pop the outer casing into the new short shifter, the center piece you just pop that through you bolt it um onto the original uh you bolt it on just like before when you were taking it off and it was perfect and then from there it's just reverse engineering just putting back everything back together and uh make sure to keep track of all your screws but like i'm really happy with this result i feel like the the gearbox is just like really long, especially if you're coming from like a Honda or if you're used to Honda gearboxes, they're like really short and really crisp. Honda makes, makes some of the best gearboxes, uh, period, in my opinion and most other people's opinions. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy. It's super short. Like the travel is so, so short. I'm really happy with it. I was really, I mean, I was feeling like, the stock is really short. It's like, I feel like I was driving a truck sometimes, especially fourth to fifth. I don't know if anybody else notices, but I feel like the travel from fourth to fifth is super long and it's like super short now. This is like even shorter than first to second Um, on the stock one. This is awesome. Yeah. So if you guys have any other questions, hit me up and I'll try to explain anything else if you guys are confused. Thanks. Bye. -bye. <laughs>